So I'm sure you can tell by outside it is raining like a motherfucker. And um it's kind of messing up my audio recording, I'm not even gonna lie. But it's like really dark in here, but if I turn the lamp away, it gets really, really dark. So I'm wondering if I can like adjust any of this. Um, so I wanted to come on here to talk about a few things because there has been a couple things that's been on my mind lately. And between goals, work, and finances, there is quite a bit to discuss and I don't know how to put it all into words properly. So before I get started, um, I want to give a big thanks to everyone who's, who's like recently subscribed to the channel because that has been absolutely monumentally mind blowing to me to think that, you know, I would have grown as much as I have in the last few months. And I know that I'm just now trying, so that's probably why it's, uh, it's been such a monumental growth for me because I went from nothing to something. But, uh, just gaining a couple hundred subscribers this year has been wild. Um, and thank you guys for 338 subscribers. It has been a wild ride and I'm hoping I'm able to do more with you guys. But before I get into it, if you guys haven't already subscribed, feel free to hit the subscribe button, like button, or hit the bell uh, if you like the content you see here. Today is one of those videos where I am just diving into some information and then I am going about my day as far as just living life. So I guess it's just like a day in a life video as well as what I can only describe as an update video. Life has been interesting lately and... I know that a lot of you, especially like, especially the adults watching this video, you understand what it's like to struggle. The economy is fucked up, um, inflation's sky high, uh, and for someone that doesn't have a skill under their belts uh, currently that I can use to gain more money to get ahead or somewhat try to get ahead, it is... It's hard. It's very hard. So I started out uh, traveling back in 2018 before inflation hit. And a lot of you have been around watching my growth for a long time. Uh, I've been at the ship for six years. And it has been life changing. And I kept replaying my, my life up to now over and over in my head. Trying to trying to come to the conclusion of how I was going to do both at the same time, uh, life, work, um, well, goals and work, but, you know, just all aspects of everything. I was trying to figure out how I was going to, um, I guess the best way to put it, I was trying to figure out how to juggle all those things at once. And I think that's the biggest struggle as an adult, because it is very hard to juggle a lot of different things and i've been at this for six years i did 20 states i've did so fucking much in such a short period of time i never thought i'd even get this far honestly if the if the smaller younger version of me was watching this he would be astonished to know that he's got as far as he has and i think that's why it's so hard to let some of this go for a bit um, YouTube will always be a staple. I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not backing down now. There's no way I'm backing down now. But, traveling is getting harder and harder. And everything that I have to do now in the U.S. is long stretched. It's, it's a very long way away. I have 30 more states to visit. And I know I could do most of them fairly easily if I put my mind to it and I saved up a bunch of money and then I traveled um but I have struggle after struggle after struggle recently and it has been a nightmare trying to get things back to where they used to be so while traveling will still be a thing traveling is inevitably sadly going to take a backseat and that's because I just, I, there's so much going on in my life, and it's very hard to juggle all these things. And 
even if I was to get all the money I needed and everything that I needed, it, I would still have to take off and do everything I wanted to do and somehow make it. That's, that's part of the reason why I wanted to come on here. The other part of why I wanted to come on here is the future of this channel. Because I've been thinking pretty damn hard on how I wanted to go about still creating content, even if it wasn't travel based, you know? And I'm still gonna do, I'm still got a bunch of areas, like anywhere from Georgia, Florida, and Alabama, and Tennessee, South Carolina. I still got a bunch of abandoned places up in there I can check out. So I'm not really done. But as far as the bigger picture on things, I, it's getting very hard to do what I want to do without some way of doing it, of going forward. Dude, I'm so tired. I shouldn't have done this when I first woke up because I have, like, my brain is, like, shot. It's dead right now. It's very dead. I woke up at, like, 12 today, so. Probably shouldn't be drinking an energy drink, but. Um, I wanted to tackle goals, right? Goals, uh, ambitions, passions, stuff like that. And... I, I've just started working out again, so you'll probably see the evolution of that here on this channel, but I want to do so much shit, you know? I want to grow as a creator, I want to grow as someone here on YouTube, and I want to grow in production value and skill value. I want to have skills, I want to learn shit, I want to do shit, and um, I want to document that growth in a way that is monumentally different to uh, anything I've ever did here on the channel and I think that's important because I have a lot of goals I have a lot of passions a lot of hobbies a lot of various things that make me me and I only shine light on part of it and I want to do more with that I'm unsure of how I want how I'm gonna do more I'm very unsure on how I want to do more. I don't know how to make content outside of travel now. I've, I've built a very tight niche, and I don't know how to transition out of that a little bit to do what I want to do. But exploring with Dakota is the name of this channel. And yeah, it's exploring places, it's going places, it's seeing new stuff, it's, it's finding all kind of stuff that I never would have saw without embarking on the journey I have but it's more than that it's it's exploring life and I think that it it's those little moments it's the growth it's the it's the fucking journey to get where I want to go that is the that's the truth you know so I want to do more uh, I want to document my growth I want to document my my journey. I want to set up uh, my my future growth, and I want to I want to change so many aspects of my life. So I guess this channel is a lot of things, but it is also a testament to show the process of how far I've come. And hopefully, one day when I'm able to do more, I can able to give back to people. But I have a long, 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 long road ahead of me. I'm only 22, almost 23. So it has been a wild journey and I'm far from done. But I have really got to break everything down and see things are what they are. So there's growth coming, but I need to get there. So... Here I am. Also, a person that I know, uh, her name's Audrey. She is trying to create music, and she was like, "Oh, I sound, I sound all right. I don't really sound that much. I don't really sound that good. My voice isn't too great. I was like twelve in the morning. Listen to this shit." Here's my little draft. Um, yeah. It's probably gonna be bad, but that's fine. You chewed me up and spit me out like I was poison in your mouth. 
He broke my heart and left it torn He left me with the scars of your love Don't say that you love me Cause if you did you wouldn't hurt me I'm covering the cuts you've made Fucking insane Yo, just letting you know, I was creating a YouTube video on something, and I reacted to your, like, your little music thing, so hopefully that's okay. Mind-blowing. You did, you did such a good job. Keep your head up, but, yeah, that's, um, your voice sounds so fucking good. That's dope. I could never sing like that. <sighs> we all need to go by and see Daddy today. He's doing bad. Had a rough visit from the nurse. He felt skipping us back two days ago pretty bad there's so many aspects of my life that i just don't discuss here on this channel but i feel like that's about to change um so the game plan for today is i'm gonna go to town get some food um grab a couple things i need head back to the head back towards the house stop at do i eat first yeah, I'm gonna eat first, go to my parents' house, check on dad, uh, and then from there, do whatever else. But, let me call, uh, let me call the Chinese place or fast and figure this shit out, because I need to know this. You know, lunch was great, but uh, I gotta make it all the way over there. Going from A to B and walking across that parking lot, it gave me uh, hiccups. Uh, uh, okay, so dinner was good. I'm gonna head back to Cairo. Uh, I'm heading back to hometown, get some shit done. Um, yeah, so road trip back to where I was going in the rain because we we love we love dealing with this environment. It's fucking awesome. Okay, so now I'm back at the house. Uh, I am fucking tired, like a motherfucker. But I'm still going to try to get some stuff done. Um, the first thing we're going to try to do is I'm going to try to write it up. And then I'm going to bounce back and start editing a video on the Dojo School for Boys. Uh, you guys probably have maybe possibly seen this or you know that it's coming by the time that I post this video. So look forward to that. I also just got through a video on Slender the Eight Pages. Uh, maybe I've showed that video Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll post it on the same day, but I am, I absolutely love how this video turned out, but I'll show you a quick clip, um, give me just a sec. Time again. Okay, bye. I actually see better now, which is even more fucking sketch sketchy as fuck. Fuck that! So it's the next day. Uh, I managed to not end up recording anything past when I got back home, which is typical of me because I always seem to um, forget about recording. So now I'm waiting to get a haircut. I got like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. It's raining. Um, so yeah, I gotta, I gotta cut all this off and then cut all this off. 
and go from there. But yeah, uh, I have a bunch of shit to do and I've been brainstorming a lot, doing a lot, planning a lot. So I'll be back when I get my haircut. So you'll hear from me shortly. So I wanted a short just to experiment. It's pretty fucking short. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's pretty damn short. It's pretty short. So, a little bit later, uh, my hair is short. My facial hair is short. I look like I'm 12 again. Um, I gotta get some work done on stuff I'm working on. Uh, but I'm so fucking tired. I can't even formulate sentences right now. That's how, that's how tired I really am. I overslept last night, and it did not do me any good whatsoever. But let's get to this. I guess let's see what's uh, let's see what's cracking. I'm so fucking tired, but I got shit to do. So if I quit at ten, then I should be good. So it's gonna be three hours of powering through this shit to get this done. So. Oh, fuck! I'm so tired. So it's the next morning. Um. I got to thinking about some things. I look like I'm bald. Jesus Christ. I got to thinking about some things and how I wanted to schedule and post certain videos and stuff. Um, so right now I'm making reels, right? So as you can see right here, I'm making reels and all that. And I have these over here, like Slender 1, Slender 2, Reel 1, Reel 2 of like the Dozier School for Boys and shit. Um... You'll, you've already seen that video by the time it comes out. But if I go over here, right, you see where, like, everything's uploading and all that. And I'm thinking in between these videos or after these videos, like, let's say I post, like, the abandoned prison, right? So there's a reel that comes out on the prison on the same day. So I'm thinking what I do is I post the video, then post the reels after to advertise it then those reels span all the way to the next week and then after that video the next video post then reels follow like up until the next video after that so it's kind of like i got content going constantly if that makes any sense but i'm just trying to get everything right as far as um just maintaining stuff and getting everything back to what it used to be um, I made coffee, worked out, did my hygiene this morning. Uh, still haven't did clothes to do when I get home. Uh, and then I'm working on all these reels and stuff. So my goal, I guess, is like five every, um, week, I guess. Just Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, just reels every single day. I feel, I feel like that'll give me the most amount of exposure that I'm looking for. And of my chances of growing more. So... I don't know. I'm just experimenting. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm up to this morning. All right, all my reels are done. So uh, I look like a child once again. I look like a fucking kid. Fuck, man. I don't feel like doing this today. But I gotta get dressed. I gotta get to work. I gotta get my day started, and everything's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be a great day. I'm gonna. I think this should be like a weekly vlog. That's what's going on today. It's gonna to be a weekly vlog. It's gonna be it's gonna be a weekly vlog. Today's today's gonna to be the the day that determined that. Um, that pops out on content even if I have no content to post. So maybe that's progress. But I officially have three videos scheduled. So that's the next three weeks, and then I have like seven reels worth of content. Uh, eight reels worth of content. So I'm feeding you guys good. Y'all should love me. But uh, as for work, let me get dressed. And we're back. So I'm gonna go inside. Uh, this store right here, I'm getting breakfast and lunch and I'm starting my day, but I get like a 20 minute drive to work. So not bad, not bad, not a bad morning. Okay, so I got a cup full of water, and when I'm done, I'll use the ice for my energy drink, and then I get a BLT for lunch. 
So, I am set and ready to go, and I might as well explain what the hell I'm doing today, and what I'm doing for the rest of the week for that matter. So I'm heading over to a lady's house named Miss Robinson, and I'm going in the back way, and I'm pretty much getting in a tractor and I'm mowing. And I learned how to mow like with a tractor like maybe three or four months ago, maybe, maybe five, I don't know. It's been like half a year that I've been working this job. So it's been a hot minute. But yeah, uh, my day is, fuck. This is now going between my legs. No homo though. Anyway, it's actually a beautiful fucking morning out here in South Georgia. Um, really pretty this morning. But yeah, I'm gonna jam out to some music and get to work, but mornings like this, just peaceful. It's calm, it's great. But yeah, I'm gonna jam out to some music, uh, get my day started. You're gonna see what my day is like in the morning and throughout my day and all that kind of fun stuff, but this is a weekly vlog, I guess now. So we're out here, we're out here. All right, this is the baby. I gotta load everything out the car, put it in here, bring it around, put diesel in it, and then start driving. So, it's a morning. And eventually I do gotta take the scaffold over to the actual house house, but probably gonna be a minute on that. But I'm probably gonna drink the rest of this coffee too. Ah, oh, it's so sweet. Oh, why not put some creamer in it? Oh. Okay, fuck it, that's as much as I can do. Also, I gotta put like grease or, you know, lubrication up in this little thing right here because every time it puts pressure on the wheel, it rubs it and it burns it down. Um, I wouldn't originally have to do this if it wasn't for the fact that this keeps coming unpopped and there's nothing I can literally do to put it back in place uh, and make it stay there because this they made from scratch instead of buying it from somewhere. I was driving and I spotted this turtle. Run, little dude, run! Yay, he made it! Woohoo! So it's the next evening. I still have a baby face. I don't think it's going away. I really don't think it's going away. Also, I don't know why it's doing this, but my microphone is being a complete pain in the butt and if I turn it down, it starts acting weird. But if I turn it up, it's fine for some reason. I'm not exactly sure, um, but I finally figured out what my first like overall all overarching goal is and it is kind of crazy, but it's kind of touching the cornerstones of what I want to do as far as just life going forward in general if that makes any sense okay so hopefully you can hear me pretty well if not i'll fix it in post-production but what you're looking at in front of you is my acorns account if you guys don't know what acorns is it's practically a, an investing app that uh, helps you grow money over time so i experimented back in 2021 i believe when i first started my little investment journey which hasn't exactly worked out the way I wanted it to for a number of reasons that I don't really feel like getting into. But uh, long story short, I ended up pulling a bunch of money out and I could just let it sit there. Uh, and I got the thinking because I was like, damn, I need somewhere to lock my money up so I don't touch it because I have a little bit of a spending problem. And if you guys don't know what an ETF is, if you guys don't know anything about stocks or anything, uh, the S&P 500 is a ETF, which is like a... a a thing you can invest in that's like 500 of the most uh most bought and most used stocks 
And a long story short, uh, I have had this account for probably four, three years, somewhere up in there. And I want to pretty much uh, start using this account again. And to give you proof on how this works, I think I used to invest like $30 a week or whatever into this account here and over a long period of time here so I started back in July of 2021 and I, I started out like investing a bunch like 90 or something dollars and then I slowly built collecting roundups and a bunch of more stuff and for the next like maybe like six months or seven months barely collecting anything as it just rolled on I ended up investing around $1,300. And then, of course, I pulled it out, right, as you can see here. And then I invested it again. And I was like, okay, I need that money. And then I pulled it back out. And then I tried again. And I failed. Tried again, again. Just collecting roundup change. Failed. And then here I am today. And it's sitting at around $24. $34. Okay. So I have money in a bunch of places, but not that much money overall. And I got to thinking because I was like, okay, I need I need a way to save money that I can't touch. And on top of it, if my money's just sitting in a bank account, it doesn't appreciate value. It doesn't gain any interest. It doesn't, uh, you lose money due to inflation uh, and all that. If you guys want me to cover a video on how any of this works, I'm not a financial advisor, but I will cover it if you guys want me to cover it. Uh, if I go to my homepage right here, they have this little thing right here called view potential. And when you click on it, it'll give you based on what you're normally investing and age and all that kind of other stuff. It'll give you, it'll give you like a bunch of like metrics and shit. So, uh, I started like doing the, So I started doing the math on this. If I started investing around $125 a week, right? And I did the math on how much it would averagely take me to travel on the US on a budget and I ranged around $10,000 or so. Uh, and that's just for everything in general that I was wanting to do, but it's a broad, it's a broad spectrum because I really had no idea what really the big thing here was. Uh, I'm 22 right now, almost 23 turning November. And if I, at 22, only a 30, but by 23, I'll, if I was a start at the beginning, I would have 7,000, but by 24, give or take, I should have around at least 10 grand or so. Let me do the math or fast and make sure. How many weeks is it till December 31st? How many weeks is it until the new year? It's 16 weeks until then. Okay, so 16 plus 52, right? Uh, that is 68. So 68 weeks will be January 1st, 2026, I think. So let's do 68 times 125. So that's 8,000 right there, which would be kind of close to my goal. But I'll add more, add less, but overall if i invest around an average of 125 to 150 200 a week up in here which will vary depending on what i have going on uh i'll have well over 10 grand but the only problem is you have to stay consistent with anything so consistency is my number one thing that i struggle with the most and i feel like this would do a lot of good but yeah, I did like three hours of editing uh, videos, the video you're watching right now. And I've been doing some math. I redid my finances to fit a budget. So you guys will see it on that side of the screen over there. Uh, that's my pretty much average as far as everything overall, you know, and 125 minimum per week saved plus you know everything else that's not bad that's not bad at all and uh just in a year if i was to do that bare minimum 125 times 52 you're looking at an average of six thousand uh, dollars if i was to bump that up to 200 uh let's say 200 times 60 
that's twelve thousand dollars so uh plus i would have a return as well due to uh gains or like capital gains and all that and everything else that goes into it so i would technically be well on my way towards building a good amount of wealth uh so i want to be financially stable and i want to be beyond financially stable i want to be able to save a bunch of money and to do that i'm going to have to start budgeting i'm going to start not spending any money whatsoever and do a bunch of more stuff so that's the first major overarching goal uh dakota if you're watching this in the future and you manage to pull this off i am proud because i have lacked consistency for so long and that's about to change with a lot of stuff anyways i did some finances did some video editing and did all a bunch of other stuff uh it is wednesday night at around 8 49 at night so i think i've got a lot done today you know i've worked i've did a bunch of other stuff and we're halfway through the week now so i'm uh i'm feeling pretty good so far and hopefully i can figure out what this mic problem is sooner or later because i really need it to work right but until then i can just kind of edit post-production uh, I'm thinking about also growing my hair all the way back out, like, like long. I'm gonna just let it grow for a while. Let my facial hair grow and trim it up and stuff. And I'm gonna see how long it takes me to actually grow any of this hair out. But, um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna write, I'm gonna focus on some more stuff. And then I will talk to you in the morning. So, yeah, this, that's day four of this video. So, weekly vlogs. Woo! Morning, people. It's um, it's Thursday. I got water all over my phone screen. So you may be wondering what I'm doing this morning. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I have no idea what I'm doing this morning. It's raining like crazy. And long story short, I'm going back to the farm that I was at the last two days. And I'm finishing up one little section and then from there I'm figuring out what the fuck I'm gonna do because I have no idea what I'm gonna do. But first, energy drink time. I'm not sure how tired I'm gonna be uh, because I worked out last night and I'm not sure how tired I'm going to be, but I am out here. So I switched it up this morning. Monster juice. Um. It's a big morning. I have nothing to do, so I'm gonna go find something to do and then contact my boss and figure out what to do from there. When I begun in 2018, I had no idea where any of this would lead. I didn't take any of this serious at all during the first beginning steps of what would eventually become a challenging goal. Exactly, but when I drive the cut dude, the cut is like a two minute walk. Okay, okay for him. I'm just saying, I'm just saying regardless. Shut up, Connor. I slowly start to realize that that was the baby steps to get me where I am now. I had in a lot of ways become so motivated by what seemed like an unreachable goal, and I strived to continue trying to grow and adapt. As 2019 came around and I dealt with a breakup, I did what I did best, which was lean back into travel, not only as a coping mechanism, but as a habit. I think from 2019 and early 2020, I started taking chances, started going more outside my limit. I took baby steps towards reaching out of state, getting so far from that goal, but I was launching in the right direction, and by the end of 2020, I had did all of Georgia. I expanded my horizons, shooting even farther to the states of Florida and Alabama. And after more struggle here and there, and trials and tribulations later, 2022 made its way onto the landscape. 2023 was by far my most monumental year traveling to so many states and doing so many things that pushed the boundaries of 
who I previously was, and it showed me that it was possible to actually do what I set out to do all those years ago. Fast forward to now, after more states and more trials and tribulations, and once finally reaching the 20th state, everything before me stands as a testament. Somewhere along that journey, I let myself go. I solidified the very thing that made me special, and it was never travel. Travel never gave me that outlet. What made me special was the commitment, and I'm just now starting to realize that I can shift that momentum and willpower, determination, whatever you want to call it, I can shift it beyond me, beyond just travel. I can do whatever I strive to do. And if anything, I'm just beginning because I think I'm kind of finally coming to a realization that this is a wake up call. If I want to ever become who I strive to be and approach those near horizons with open arms, I have to be willing to sacrifice anything. And I think part of that journey is sacrificing who I used to be for what I'm meant to be. The journey is just beginning, but I think I'm finally woken up.